I'm Isis Schiffer, designer of the Eco Helmet and winner of the 2016 James Dyson Award. I was inspired to design Eco Helmet when I was traveling abroad and I wanted to use bike share bikes and I was quite uncomfortable riding in the road. And I always wear a helmet. I'm a very habitual helmet wearer. And just not having an inexpensive option available to me, I was like, this is a big gap. I can't be the only one. Eco Helmet is a proprietary honeycomb pattern that I came up with. These cells are radial like this rather than parallel, as in regular honeycomb. So when it's open, it absorbs a blow from the front, back, the side, any direction. The, the cells are always uh, perpendicular to your head. It spreads the impact around rather than concentrating it in one place, which is how concussions happen. Whether it's paper or plastic, it doesn't matter, but it has to be recyclable. You have to be able to pitch it in the bin and have it be either made into other eco helmets or something else. I'd been thinking about this for a while, but when I was studying at RCA Imperial, of years ago, I really started to push it forward and they happened to have a crash rig in Imperial. Basically, I had a hunch that it would work. I had no idea if it would. I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I can jump up and down on it and it's fine, but I hadn't done any tests, so I just brought them an armload of honeycomb samples in different thicknesses and cell sizes and materials and dropped stuff on them all day. And I was able to get enough data from that to say, okay, this is a sound idea. I can take it further. My first impression of Eco Helmet's design as a designer was perfect. You know, there's an obvious problem with the current helmets. They're always the same size, they're huge, they're awkward to carry around. And not only could this be dispensed by a vending machine next to your bike share, but it also could just fold up and go into your backpack very easily. The sort of simplicity of the approach was, was very elegant. From here on, it's all about manufacturing and testing, right? So even though I ran tests myself, in order to have a helmet be sold as a helmet, it needs to be certified by CPSC in the US and various other governing bodies around the world. Competitions like this are important because it gives us something other than grades and reviews to work towards. I mean, it's one thing to present in front of a class and everyone goes, oh, that's great, but it's another to actually compete on a global level with designers from all around the world. Being the international winner of the 2016 James Dyson Award is massively flattering and exciting and astonishing, really. 